Hi, this is Jesse Sayer with Hashtag Geek Greens. So today I am at the CES 2015 Consumer Electronics Show. Um, I am at the uh, SkyDrop booth. Now I'm in uh, selfie mode, so the, uh, the the little words above me here kind of look in mirror uh, here, but uh, but that says SkyDrop Pro and SkyDrop Link there. So um, I want to show you a little bit about their product and what they're doing uh, uh, with uh, a way to make your yard and the outdoors smart. So uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you a demo here. All right, so right here we have, this was just launched uh, or announced um, in, the, in the last week for CES. Uh, this is called the SkyDrop Link. Um, this uh, connects inside your home to your Wi-Fi network and then provides a 900 megahertz uh, signal to uh, your yard, which potentially could go miles in terms of signal, uh, and, uh, um, and connects to all the uh, devices in your yard. Now right now, they have one device that connects into the yard, it's called the, the, uh, the SkyDrop uh, Pro Controller, SkyDrop Controller. Um, uh, they are a smart sprinkler controller. Um, I have one of these in my house, and I will be doing a review of that shortly, um, kind of showing you how it works and stuff. But uh, the uh, SkyDrop controller uh, connects into your sprinkler system, and it actually works really nicely. Um, I've, like I said, I've set this up my own. It reminds me a lot of the way, uh, um, and, and, and hopefully they don't kill me for saying this, it reminds me of the way that uh, Nest works. Uh, uh, in some way that uh, that uh, it's really easy uh, has a uh, little dial you can turn right here and uh, and then you pop off the controller and you just stick wires in right uh, right here and, and above very similar to the way you set up uh, kind of a nest controller and, and, and such it it, it, re it literally took me just a couple minutes to get the uh, wires in and set it up it was pretty easy um, and then you just go in and um, and it connects in. Uh, this is a laptop here, but um, uh, it also works on my phone. Actually, I'll pull out my phone. Well, my, I'm, I'm actually using my phone to record this, so I can't show you on the phone. But uh, in my uh, demo unit, I'll show you how the phone works. But you, you can connect it either over the internet or over um, phone. Um, connect it one or multiple SkyDrop controllers and then on the phone you can actually um, go in and uh, and edit uh, the zones and all kinds of information about your uh, your your uh, sprinkler system I can actually go in and specify this zone in my yard has um, has grass this zone has trees this zone has shrubs or a combination of the two and then uh, it takes uh, weather data using the Wi-Fi connection in your house um, and uh, I automatically identifies uh, and, and uses uh, all kinds of really cool smarts to identify what uh, the ways ways to um, uh, water those different zones uh, and it'll automatically adjust based on the weather in your area and other sensory data that uh, that it can detect with uh, with that internet connection and what you told it. Um, very smart system. Uh, I, I set up this last uh, fall right before uh, right before uh, winter hit and got to use it a, a, a little bit and it, it really uh, really does uh, start to reduce your water usage and it kind of automatically starts to determine the, the times of when to do it. Really neat system here. But the really thing, the thing I'm really excited about is what they launched just this week, and this is the uh, SkyDrop Link. Um, out of garage, into the home, solves Wi-Fi range limitations, range of miles, not feet, links unlimited remote zones. The cool thing about this is, the one of the issues with the uh, SkyDrop controller is, is it's only as good as it can reach your Wi-Fi system. It actually works pretty well in my home. I've got it out in the garage, connects in, and I've, I've, I've actually got a couple Wi-Fi extenders on my, uh, in my house, so it, it works pretty well. But if you don't have that Wi-Fi signal, this actually makes it so that, that, uh, that those controllers can very easily be put anywhere in your yard. It can be way out, potentially even miles away, and still have access to that Wi-Fi connection in your home. Um, but the other potential for this, and I, and, and, and I, I know nothing about uh, the future of this. I will admit that they are a, a, a client, but uh, um, I don't know any details of the future, so don't take this uh, uh, for her. Uh, what they're going to launch and what they're not, I, I don't know that. Uh, but uh, um, but the potential here is is potentially this could connect all the different devices in your yard as well. All those devices, if, if these guys were to go in and create uh, sensors that can connect to that 900 megahertz signal, um, these different sensors in your yard can now uh, go in, let's say you want to test the water in your pond, 
you could uh, test the water in your pond, connect to something like this and, and go in. Or uh, um, uh, LED lights around the yard to decorate your yard um, and have those turn on when your sprinklers go on. Uh, um, uh, that's just a more fun one, but to, to add to the aesthetics and, and beauty of, of a landscape. Um, or, uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, other 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 ways of doing it would be um, uh, uh, monitoring uh, uh, the uh, chemicals in your sprinkler system, or connecting to a hot tub uh, uh, and monitoring the chemicals in the hot tub, um, or the heat or temperature of the hot tub. Um, uh, connect that into another uh, um, it, it, into an API of sorts. If, if that's if, if that if that were to happen, you can uh, you could potentially identify when an individual comes home and leaves, and have the hot tub waiting for you when you get home. That, like I said, I don't know if these things are coming or not, but this is uh, that's the potential of having a smart hub like this that uh, controls the yard and uh, and works with right now these uh, these really cool controllers. Um, but I am really excited about this company uh, um, uh, so much that uh, I'm starting to help them a little with their social media and such. And uh, uh, I I love what uh, what these guys are doing with um, uh, with their controllers. Uh, I, I I can't say enough good things about them. We've got the smart home taken care of. Now the next step is the smart yard, and that is where these guys come in. So anyway, this is Jesse Stave. Hashtag Geek Greens and the Social Geek.